What should you know about the brake fluid? Most brake fluids contain glycol, which is hygroscopic. This means that over time it will absorb moisture from the air, even in a closed system. This is the effect of lowering the boiling point. As you know, water turns to steam at temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius. When you brake, the friction of the brake pad rubbing against the disc produces considerable heat. Just think of how much you use the brakes on a mountain descent. If there is too much moisture in the brake fluid, the intense heat can cause vapor bubbles to form. These bubbles are not able to transport the pressure in the hydraulic system, so the brake pressure point is lost. In other words, the brake pedal or hand lever goes soft and the brakes fail. You must then pump the lever or pedal until you feel a pressure point again. Old brake fluid is not able to protect the brake pistons and cylinders from rust and lubricate properly, which can lead to expensive master cylinder or caliper repair. For this reason, in the interest of safe biking, it is essential to change the brake fluid at regular intervals, as specified by the manufacturer, every one to two years. If you are not sure how long the brake fluid has been in the system, the color of the fluid also gives you an idea of how old it is. New glycol-based brake fluid is a transparent yellowy color and the older it is, the darker it looks. Opaque, dirty brown fluid should always be changed. This rule also applies to the hydraulic fluid in a hydraulic clutch, which is generally filled with DOT4 brake fluid. DOT3, wet boiling point approximately 140 degrees Celsius. DOT4, wet boiling point approximately 160 degrees Celsius. DOT5.1, wet boiling point approximately 180 degrees Celsius. As a rule, the correct brake fluid is indicated on the original cap of the brake fluid reservoir. If in doubt, check your maintenance manual. Pro tip! When working on your brake hydraulics, please bear in mind that glycol-based brake fluid is toxic, irritates the skin, and damages paintwork. Ensure that it does not come into contact with you or motorbike parts. Failing that, always be sure to thoroughly wash the affected area immediately with plenty of water. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to see similar content, please subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications.